survived my longest day, except I just realized my boot has a hole in it. It's snowing so hard and I'm so hungry I'm about to faint. This is probably one of the more glamorous parts of my night routine. I'm currently having to put my feet on the heater because my bus was 45 minutes late due to snow and I'm pretty sure I have frostbite on my toes. And these jeans have got to go. I need dinner because I've been like on the verge of passing out because I'm so nauseous from being so hungry and I sound so dramatic so I'm gonna eat now. The beauty about having roommates is you open a fridge to a ton of food which none of it is yours. I just reread the directions and I made that completely wrong, so fingers crossed it's actually edible. Alright, this is probably one of the best parts of my day, and that is getting to take my face off at the end of it. I love not being able to recognize myself in a matter of like two minutes. <laughs> I don't know what that was either. Yep, I did that. This is taking me back to, it's a weird angle, this is taking me back to Argentina when I would eat dinner at literally 10 o'clock at night. Taste test. Yep, yep. Okay, I don't know why I find this so funny. Basically like when I'm, <clears throat> When I'm in class, I always just think of the most random things and I write them down. And <laughs> the quote of the day today was, teachers that shame you for going to the bathroom during class should not be in this profession. That is coming from a girl with a the bladder the size of a walnut who has suffered from this shame her whole education career. Dancing in the mirror. Now, it's not bedtime until you have three different screens in front of you. I am that person that is keeping a Bachelor Predictions. I'm going for Cassie. And I truly don't understand why Colton is showering in every other scene. Wake up with your 